Hey guys, Terrence here. So again, I want to share with you guys a situation we're facing at our second home. Um, our well water, as you can see, uh, has gotten a rotten egg smell to it. Hydrogen sulfide has invaded our house. And uh, I've, after doing thorough research online, I've come up with a couple solutions, uh, hopefully to help our problem out. We, we don't run the water that much. This well is only two years old. Two years old when we got it. Um, it's been working beautiful. It's working fine, but within the last few months, we're starting to get the rotten egg smell when we turn the taps on. When we initially turn it on, we get the rotten egg smell, and we get some discoloration in the water. So. Like I said, after thorough research online, I've come up with a couple solutions that I'm, what I've, that I'm trying right now, and um, everything appears to be working out fine. And I'll show you guys exactly what I did, and um, the things I bought to make uh, our water situation better. So uh, stay tuned. Okay, the first thing I did, guys, was add. Uh, I took the cap off our, our wheel. I added a gallon. I bought two of these. I added a gallon and a half of chlorine Clorox bleach uh, directly to the line I poured it directly down the line and uh, I let the water run through all the taps in the house and let it sit there for a couple days I let it sit there for 48 hours you know I was read online that you can let it sit for 24 hours but I let it sit in all the taps after letting the water run until I smell bleach in every tap the dishwasher the uh, all the faucets the shower the bathtub after I smell bleach and all the taps I shut them off and I let water sit in them for 24 or well 48 hours two days I let it sit in the fuck because we was gone and uh, after letting the water sit for uh, the two days I took a hose and I drained the water inside of the house and I'll show you guys exactly how I did and you know I don't want a lot of the chlorine to run through our septic tank so I drained a lot of it off After letting it sit in the taps to get the taps cleared out, and that when I turned on the taps, the water was coming out super. You know, a lot of the rust maybe that was uh, in the lines or uh, coming up from the well was coming through the lines. It was clearing out fairly well. So I'll show you guys all of that right now. I'll show you guys the system I bought for the whole house filtration. And I'll show you guys how I'm going to install it. And hopefully this solves our problem. But so far, this chlorination process is going very, very well. And I'm pleased with the outcome. So stay tuned. Okay guys, here goes our situation. So I tank a water softener. I uh, got these are all the fittings I'll be using today. I got some one inch PVC because the inlet on from coming from the well is one inch and it goes over to three quarter. But I'll show you guys why I'll be tapping in that. I'll be mounting the filtration system on this wall but as you can see I installed a tankless water heater here I wish I didn't film it I hate I didn't film it to show you guys how I did that But um, it's a fairly easy job. But I installed that. But that's not the problem today. The today is getting rid of that hydrogen sulfide out of our system in the iron. And I'll show you guys the solution. I'll show you guys exactly what I bought. So these are the fittings. Don't know if I'll be using all of these elbows. Just bought them just to have extra. 
This is the primer and the semen I'll be using. Um, using three valves just in case wh whenever I want to change the filters out of the system I can just uh, let the uh, well water run directly uh, to the tank. So uh, I'll show you guys where I'm tapping the internet and where I mount things at. Just got to get my stud finder and find the studs on there to get a secure mount. But let me um, pull out the filtration system so I can show you guys and uh, get my stud finder. Okay, I'm back. Uh, this is the system I bought. I'll put all the information in the description box and show you guys the price and everything as well. And uh, I got my stud finder, my laser leveler. I'll be cutting a lot of the pipe with my little small saw, and I got a hand saw. Um, I'll be using as well, but they're 20 inch. Look at the bracket. Pretty heavy, so I gotta make sure I hit those studs in the wall so we can uh, have a secure fit and make sure I'm up to cold and uh, away from the box. But uh, I'll I'll come off right in that area. I'll film as I go, as I eat, add each fit and make each cut. I'll film, so it won't be a straight shot. My tripod is broken and um, just trying to save up space on my uh, phone. So I'll film as I go. Each fit, each cut I make, I'll, I'll show uh, step by step on what I'm doing. So this is the system I bought. It's supposed to be super good and it's supposed to uh, help our problem. If not help it or solve it, alleviate, alleviate it. So um, we run it directly through here. Then we run it to the tank. And the tank run through the softener into the house so uh, stay tuned before I start installing the uh, filter bracket I want to let you guys know what the bleach uh, uh, in the system has done for our water the smell has absolutely gone away me pouring the bleach down the well has pretty much cured the smell and the water smells really good now but I know it's going to come back when we first got the, the system installed professional well company came out and dug the well like I said, it's 70 feet deep when we hit uh, a strong water flow. And they bleached the water. I'm quite sure that's uh, a that's the procedure. But they um, we had to let the water run off for maybe an hour or so just to kind of get the bleach out of the system. But me doing the same thing uh, kind of cleared up the smell. The hydrogen sulfate, sulfide smell is gone. And like the rotten egg smell is gone out the sink. And and out the faucets and the water is pretty clear now and but I know it's gonna come back so I'm having this whole house filtration system to stop it or to to slow it down so I'm about to get started just wanna let you guys know that so okay I have my bracket uh, lines leveled off where I want to mount it at even and level however you mark my holes X is where I'll be drilling that however the studs don't line up they, they're too far off the, the studs don't line up they're too far off from where I want to install the bracket so I bought some anchors, some drywall anchors. I got two different types. Um, I got some 50 pound anchors and some 100 pounds, which is the ones I'll be using. I'll be using these 100 pound anchors uh, to mount the bracket up because, as you can see, I'm perfectly leveled even. And the studs, this is my mark where well, I want to mount the brackets right here and here but the studs it's right here this is the first stud it's too far over that way and it's right here so it'll bring the bracket way too far over I don't want the bracket this far over when the filter's hanging this low so 
I'll use the uh, the anchors to support the bracket and the filters. So I'm about to install it now. I mark my holes for the anchors. Right there, I'll be drilling the anchors inside the large holes, and I'll slide the when I get them in the wall, the screw will slide up to the slot, to the slot there. The screw will slide up to the slot. So let's get the mounted. Let's get these drilled up. I'll be using a fairly large bit to fit these anchor holes. Fit them snug, so it won't strip. Each one in the wall. Press in. Listen for us. Make sure they flush. Another thing, make sure there's no electric electricity running through this wall, or no conduit. There's nothing running through this wall. There, well, it is something where there's an outlet down here, but it's running really low. I know because I ran it. So there's nothing running up here. Make sure there's no nothing behind this wall that these anchors can pierce. That's important. Go for, go with a smaller bit. And drill the screws in. You can start them by hand. Super long screws. Like I said, these are 100 pound anchors. Okay, you wanna drill them in. Push while you're drilling. Not all the way in, leaving about a half inch out. Maybe a quarter of an inch. Just enough so we can, so we can get the bracket up. Let's see. Perfect. I'm not going to tighten them up yet because I'm going to mount the, the filter compartments up here. I'm going to mount the filter compartments up before I tighten it in and get started. So, yeah, it's perfect. As you can see, I'm up the code as far as by the electrical. And as you can see, I left them out. About a quarter of an inch. And they're fitting in those slots. These are hundred pound anchors I'm using, so let's take this back off and start mounting the the filter compartment. Okay, before we mount the fit the filter. Off. Let's see the filters. There's no order for these to go, but I'll show you what we need to do before we attach these to the bracket. Before we attach these to the bracket, there's a in and an out for water flow. We're gonna run all the ends in the same direction, but the filters they're wrapped up in plastic. These are last. We'll do this last. We'll. Remove the plastic and see them inside of the as you, inside of the uh, compartment. As you can see, the water flows through here and comes through the filter and run out of the outside of the out inlet. But we need to install each one of these. 
filter housings or compartments with these. I got some Teflon tape or some thread seal tape. So we need each one, all three, before we mount them to the bracket so we can install them. Okay, have all three. Let's go this box on. We want to make sure we face them in the right direction. So, they be mounted like this. No. I like that. In, out, in, out, in, out. Around here, here. Make sure you have the water flow. Make sure you have them flowing the same way. So basically, the red to the back. So it'll be coming up from the well inside of this one, coming through these, and going outside to all into the house, into the tank, and the softener. You want to go with the tape, the direction the threads are going. You don't want no leaks. You want to go around it about two or three times. I'll do three. Because I'm not trying to have any leaks. And we install those. There's a rubber grommet around each one to, so, to ensure a, a tight seal so it won't leak. But I put the Teflon tape just because there's the instructions, there's no instructions. It don't tell you to install Teflon tape, but I'm doing it just for extra safety. I don't want any leaks. These are plastic, so okay, I'm going to use this. Adjustable slip nut wrench to tighten it down. I want to over tighten it just to feel it, that rubber seal. That's perfect. So now you probably wonder how we'll get the other one. And so let's see how we're going to do it. I don't need the wrench no more for this one. I'll tighten this by hand. Perfect. Make sure you in, out, in, out. Perfect. In, out, in, out. It's gonna sit like this. The water coming in from the from the from the, from the well into this side, and going out this side into the house. Okay, that's perfect. Let's get the bracket and mount the bracket on. Uh, line your screws up, your holes up. Okay, lined up. The 
everything looks perfect. They come with a bunch of these screws. These are look like half an inch. Let's check. Yep, half an inch screws. I'm using a 3 8 a drill socket so I can put a socket on there, half an inch. I'm going to start from the middle. Just snugging them in until I get them all. Okay. We're ready to go. In, and it should say out. It should say in here, and it should say out here. I'll set the bracket in place before I start getting my measurements for my PVC. As you can see, it looks good. It's sitting perfectly where I want it to sit. See, there's my end. We're coming in here. I'm going to come in, come out from right here. I'll come up here. I'll saw in it. I'll come up. using one of these. This is my first cut. We want to make sure the pump is unplugged. All the water is drained out of the system already. I drained it out before I made my before you make your cuts. But this is the first connection. It'll go here. I'll come up into the system. And next, I'll put in front of that, I'll put me a valve. This is a ball valve. And I'll show you guys how I'll, I'll do it so I'm able to shut the filters off and let the water run directly how it is now. Just in case I have to change the filters. So... I'll show you guys everything right now. I'll make the cut. I'll be using an electric saw. Kind of a tight spot there, but I have the varieties of saw I can use for to cut the PVC. I have that one. I have this one. And I have a half saw, of course. But these are perfectly these are perfect for to cut the PVC. And another thing. Um I got my glues ready. So I'll probably be making my first cut. I'll make my measurements from here. I'll get a, a measuring tape and I'll make my measurements from here to here from the I'll be using an electric saw. Kind of a tight spot there, but I have the varieties of saw I can use for to cut the PVC. I have that one. I have this one. And I have a half saw, of course. But these are perfectly these are perfect for to cut the PVC and another thing um, I got my glues ready so I'll probably be making my first cut I'll make my measurements from here to here from the fitting my fitting to here with the, with the elbow have these. I'll be installing these in here. Put some tape. I can do that right now. I can make these and I can install these in right now. Here's a one inch. I'll be using one inch down at a piece PVC so this is the one inch uh, fitting. So let's put some tape on these. Let's get some tape on. And this one 
and this one for both sides. So let's take these up now and screw them in. Okay, I have my tape. I have some Teflon tape on them on both fittings. Another cool thing about this filtration system, it works by gravity, no power, and it's kind of flush, it's, it's, it's kind of flush to the wall, it's not that far off, I think it has a, um, let's see what the depth is, I'm going to be accurate with you guys, so you can see the depth. Eight inches, not bad, not bad at all. If you look right there, that's about a little over six inches, about seven inches. But the water inlet is pretty much the same. It, it's gonna line almost just a tiny bit off, but it's gonna come right over to where I wanted to fit that because as you can see we can I can move this I can move this over all right let's screw the oven in before I tighten them up I got tape on as you can see make sure you use the Teflon tape I'm recording in 4k so it should be crystal clear make sure it's on the right way because you don't want it to de-thread you're screwing it in Because you definitely will have leaks. You don't want to have leaks. Look at that. It's perfect. Oh man, this hydro power. These hydro power anchors got this thing solid. This mountain is solid. I can sit on it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm sit on it. You know what? I'm going to make uh, I'm going to come in. I'm going to come out about an inch and a half. Leave me a little leeway just in case I have to make another cut. Or maybe two inches. And have it right here. Because I have to put the ball valve in front of it. So I want to make sure I got space for both. But I may have to lose this this elbow for right now. Because I'm coming down from off of here. And I'll be connecting. I'll make it look really nice. And I'll come here. I'll be connecting right here. Going back down into the... the Okay, first connection is done. Okay, this is where I'm currently at. Right there. To here. To there. I was thinking about wrapping from here. From around here. And then going down. Or come here. Go down. Hand curve in there. Like I said, these are 20 inch filters. I don't want to be snug, so let me figure out a way which way works best. I'll screw one of the filters in and I'll see. Alright, be back in a second. Okay, this is mock test one. Let's see how I'm going to mock up this. The outline. I've marked a spot for filter height right here with a with a pencil. When the screws out, I'm, I'm gonna mark the height for the screw out. Cause I may just come here and come down and go to here. As long as I got room to screw the filter out without interference. 
I gotta screw it all in right now, so let's screw it up and see. Remember, I have it loose, I don't have it tightened. I still just got it sitting on the screws. I'll put some washers like this. I got a, a washer, because these screws are kind of small, and I don't trust it. So, I mean, it's just a lot of weight. I'll put a, the washer like that. I'll put one right here, too. Okay, it's barely sitting here. Now, let's screw it out. So, so we can mark our height for the screw that position. Screwed in, screwed out. More times. This is a mock test, so I don't have the filters in here. Okay, this is where I'm at right now. I've made my decision to go down because see I'm pretty close to the wall, so satisfied with this, but I made my decision to come under the filter. That'll be easy to come off. We got some symmetry going here. Both sides. I have both shut off ball valves in the same place. Everything's symmetrical. And I'll come here into that line and add that last ball valve down at the bottom in the filters. As you can see, I got some clearance. It gave me. I made this piece three inches. It goes in an inch on each thing, so it saved me about an inch here, you know, just to come out. So, have enough room to put the filter wrench on and pull the filters off easy. So, this is where I'm at so far. And I'll be back in a sec. Okay, guys, I'm done. Uh, everything went smooth, just like I figured it would. Put two washers on there because I, the screws are kind of small I didn't trust them now I don't want them to kind of go through the holes but as you can see my design I can shut it off and change the filters by both valves and let the water go straight to the come from straight from the well inside the house as you can see right there change the filters if I need to Alright, the next thing I'll be doing is pulling the plastic off the filters. Uh, I'll let this dry overnight. I'm not going to let uh, water run through. Even though it dries as soon as you kind of seal them, but I just want a permanent. Uh, I want it to dry like permanent. I want to make sure everything's secure. I'll install them. I'll pull the plastic off the uh, filter cartridge. I'll show you guys the, the filter cartridge. And I'll. Um, Pull the plastic off of them and install them and let the water flow through the system. But this is what I designed in my mind, and it just it came out perfect. Like it didn't take up no space whatsoever. And you still got space in all the room right here. But the most important thing, the water will have uh clean water throughout the entire house. Uh when the pressure drops uh on gauge. I know the filters are getting clogged, so I'll change them out. I could have put an easy, I easy could have put a a flow gauge right here to kind of monitor it, but it's fine. We have the gauge down there, so I can tell. I, I, as you can see early on, I timed it, so I'll be installing the filters tomorrow. And, you know, I'm looking forward to seeing how this goes and how it works. So. Okay, I'm back. I'll be installing the filters today. In this order, this is number one. I'll use this micron filter. Since it filters out dirt and sand, and most of the debris that'll be coming straight up from the well. I'll put the KDF in the middle, the KDF filter in the middle, and I'll use the carbon block uh, for the third filter on the outside. On the out inlet, when the water coming out, going into the uh, tank, like I reverse osmosis, the, the the carbon block is the last filter to filter out the water, and it goes into the tank for the uh, for the house for the faucet. So this is the order I'm going. Number one, two. 
in three. They're in plastic. So I removed the plastic and screw them in. So this will be the first one that this will catch the water coming from the well. This guy right here. So I'll put the plastic out. I'll put it inside the one of the doesn't matter which container it goes into, they are the same. They're not numbered or anything. Same size, 20 inches. And I'll get started now. So I will show you guys each fit that I install. Oh, I'm tired. And I'll screw them up individually. Okay, let's get started. Make sure your the ring is still the rubber ring is seated properly so it can seal. Okay, it's tight. Let's get the next one. On the KDF filter, there's an arrow going up. So you want to face this up, there's an arrow. You see the arrow right here? Make sure the rubber is seated properly because if you don't you're going to have leaks. This one is pretty heavy. The micro filter is light. This one's got some weight to it. This is the heaviest one out of all of them. Get the last one. This is the second heaviest one. The carbon block filter. That's tight. We're done. I haven't turned on any water yet. I may let it run through the house first. I'll shut these valves off. Let's shut them off now. I'll shut these off first and make sure I'm sealed everywhere. I'll let the water run through the house. And you know what? Let's turn the pump on now. <laughs> if we got any leaks, I want you guys to see it. I'm not editing nothing. If we have any leaks, you guys are gonna see first. We aim it down there, cause that's where it'll be leaking at. I got both valves shut off. This is the first time I'm turning on the water since I fixed this. Let's put 
going to pop up. Let's open the house. Here we go. Fingers crossed. Sealing up. Pump steel running. Just turned off. Cold water in the lines. No leaks. No leaks. But, so when I wanna, when, if you got a setup similar to this, if you just installed this, or if you decide to install something like this, or install this system in particular, you wanna check the valve off here, and the water will shit, send it, the water will send it up into the, open this up, it'll send it up into here. And out of here so you open these two up and then it'll go in the house so you want to shut this off so the next test now is let's shut it off we shut off right there no more water coming in here okay let's let's open up this is the first time we open up we we got leaks here or anywhere from the filters that you guys are gonna see it. So let me turn it back. I may have to do. I may have to shut something off in case of emergency. Let me make sure you guys can see everything. I'm not editing out nothing. If we got leaks, you guys are gonna see me run for the border. <laughs> All right. For the first time, we coming through the filters. Let's see what we got. making crazy noises. Ooh, it scared me. Listen, I just jumped. <laughs> Uh-oh, got a leak. I'm leaking. I'm leaking from... Got a leak from here. I got a leak. Let's shut this off. Oh, that sucks. The filters are secure. I'm just leaking from here, as you can see. That's all right. I'll fix it. Okay, guys, I'm back. Uh, I don't have the fittings I'll need to fix it. I have to make a couple cuts, and I'm going to replace the other side, too. It got a tiny drip to it, but I don't want to leak. I don't want to take no chances. So, this is what I got in my bag. I didn't use it. I couldn't find it when I should have, and I used the 99 cents crap. Man... But I should have used this, and I wouldn't have had no problems. This stuff is super good. Should have used this. It's blue. Right. 
So this, I believe, is the cause of my leak because I wrapped it around, I think, four times on both of them. This requires a minimum of three wraps, but I'm going to wrap the hell out of that, that fitting uh, when I remove it. I don't have the, the, the couplings to replace it, to fix it. It's a simple fix, but I just, I hate to to go over something again. I try to do everything perfect the first time, but hey, I'm not, we all make mistakes, I'm not perfect, so. Uh, I wanna show you guys the filters came. Our reverse osmosis filters came, so I'm gonna replace those though. Since I did everything else in the house, I'm gonna replace them out. The water is still super clear and good. But I ran some chlorine through the system, so I don't know if any got in there or not. I'll uh, run the water twice through the tank, clear it out. I'll be changing all the filters but the membrane. The membrane is good for at least two to five years. How we run the water, it'll, it'll be definitely five years. So I got all the other three, and uh, I'll replace them in a second. Just pop the button out. I don't think you have to shut the water down. I'll look and make sure, but you want to pop this button out, and it, it pops right out. So, I think that's a the button is a, a safety release, and it holds the water back. I'm about to change these now, and I'll show you guys when I change them. But I'm gonna wait. I'll wait to change them until I get until I let the 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 water run in from the uh the whole house filters, the blue filters, the big blues. Okay, guys, I'm back. The leak is fixed. As you can see, no more leaks. And you can see the blue tape, the Teflon tape I use. I wrapped the hell out of it. And I did both sides to show you that I'm not leaking and I got crazy pressure in the lines right now. These are the purging valves. You purge the air out of the system with these. Watch this and press down on it. <laughs> Water's coming everywhere. I got a lot of pressure in the system. I purge the air at the lines when I turn the faucet on. I hold them down for a minute until the pump start flowing. But I got all the air out of the lines, so just strictly water now. Just skirt it out. But just want to show you guys that the pump is on. I got water in the system. And as you can see, I skirted everywhere. But no more leaks. And I'm excited. I'm excited now. I turned the water. The water smelling fresh already. But it already was smelling fresh from uh, when I did the uh, bleach in the, directly in the well. I chlorinated it. So I'm excited about this new installation. The job is done. Now I can clean up. So uh, it's a wrap. Hope this video helped you guys. If you like what you've seen, please subscribe to the channel. I have tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of more stuff to film. And to show you all the cool things that I do and all the cool things I got. And the mini tutorial videos I'll be posting. So stay tuned. Hey guys, Terrence here. I want to give you guys an update on the water filtration system. It's been about a month since I, I installed it, and I'm very pleased at the outcome so far. The water's crystal clear, it tastes good, and it smells great. No most uh, rotten egg smell so far, but I'm very pleased after a month. And I just did a water test on, on the water, and I bought a cheap kit from Menards, and I'm gonna show you guys the outcome of the test, but I'm very pleased so far. and. Uh, I hope it works out great. I hope it works out great. You know, I don't know how long the filters will last. I'm hoping 
to get maybe a year or two out of them because we don't use the water that much here. But I must say I'm pleased. So I'm going to show you guys the water test right now and um, the results. Okay, I'm back. I just did the test not that long ago. And I'll show you guys the results. As you can see, this is... Give me a little water right there from out the faucet. Uh, this is a little cheap test kit from my mom, from my Nards. But the copper test uh, is real, reading zero ppm. The uh, iron test is reading around zero ppm. With that, with with this test kit, the iron test uh, requires a small tablet to go into the vial right there and you shake it for a few minutes until the tablet dissolves and then you dip the strip into there and um, it's reading zero ppm so far with the rest of them you just take you know I just use this old water bottle just cut it out and put post and uh, pour the water ran the water from the faucet into it and you just need about four ounces of water and swirl uh, the strip around with that and for the nitrate test and for the alkalinity test so this is what we get from the alkalinity test the nitrate test I mean, everything's looking uh, very good and like I said iron test zero ppm which was important we did have iron in the water and the copper test, which is also reading well. So, yeah, I'm very pleased with this, with this, with these filters, with this whole house filtration system. And you know, if you install this into your house, I hope this video helped you guys with the installation process. I definitely recommend this to anybody who suffered from the symptoms that we suffered from with it, which is the uh, rotten egg smell in the faucets and our, some of our uh, some of the hardware like the, the shower head and around the uh, bathtub we was getting rings of rust you know because like I said we're barely here but yeah there was you know signs of rust in that area and even when we turned the water on the time so we're definitely sitting in the line so like I said I just this is definitely a recommendation for me and I hope this video helps you guys with the installation process and a solution to your problems.